When people ask who inspires me, I often get that question, who inspires you? Hey guys, so I don't know if some of you had noticed that was in the headlines just over the last couple of days that Lizzie Velasquez, I think that's how you pronounce her name, um, she has been in the past labelled the world's ugliest woman and she has this condition, this very, very rare condition that well, makes her look the way that she does and it actually stops her from, it makes it really difficult for her to gain weight okay and that she doesn't have an eating disorder she's getting nothing wrong with her this is a physical condition which known at the moment only two other people two people in the world sorry including herself suffer from this condition yet in the past she has been labeled this given this label the ugliest woman in the world and the amount of bullying that like online bullying and hatred and absolutely vile not just comments but just harassment that she has received because of her looks is absolutely disgusting um and she is now she's 26 years old she is now a well she's an activist and she's also a motivational speaker and she thanks the bullies for making her this person that she is today they have made her stronger and i guess it's kind of those bullies She's kind of thankful to them because they have pushed her to a place where she now does what she does in terms of being a motivational speaker and helping other people who are either in similar positions to herself or, you know, who just are having a really tough time in their life. And she has used her experiences of navigating around this hatred to turn it into something positive and obviously now she is a motivational speaker. Now it's it's absolutely like really kind of heart-wrenching her story and it really just makes you, it puts a lot of things into perspective. It really does, I mean there's so many of us out here in the world who suffer with illnesses and a lot of the time it's not apparent you know, people don't know. Behind closed doors, you really do not know what's going on in people's lives. And sometimes we get caught up in our own issues. It's like, boo-hoo, poor me, or not even that, but you just forget that there are other people going through other things, whether they be similar to yourself or completely different, but at the same time, they are still serious, serious things. And what I just really... I'm not saying it brings comfort, but sometimes, like, I know myself, right, from suffering from this chronic illness for so long, sometimes you do just feel, oh my god, like, this is awful, and you kind of get drawn into self-pity a bit, even sometimes not self-pity, but it's like, why me, why did this happen to me, but then you realise that there are millions of people around the world who are also suffering in their own way, whether that be with illness or poverty or, and it just really, for me personally, it just gives me this sense of connection that even although we're suffering with different things, it's still in some ways the same because we're all going through our own struggles. Now, I am overwhelmed with the amount of comments that I've been getting on my videos these past few days from you guys who are telling me things that you're suffering with that are completely different from what I'm suffering with, whether that be Crohn's disease or binging or, you know, like just whatever, right? Whatever, like I've got a whole list of people who have reached out to me telling me what their problems are. And you know, I'm overwhelmed and thank you so much for sharing that with me because just because it's different from what I'm going through, I can completely empathise and sympathise with your struggles. But you know what guys, there are millions of us out there who are suffering and at the same time we're here and we're going through it every day and we're fighting, whether that be addiction, illness, you know, anything, absolutely anything and... I'm just sending a big kudos to everyone who is. Now, the reason that I'm bringing up Lizzie Velasquez is because she has been in the headlines these past couple of days because this meme was made of her, um, which is really pretty sick, actually. 
And this meme obviously went viral and it just kind of prompted her to make more statements, just kind of and do more things for anti-bullying and bring awareness to like online bullying and what actually goes on online and to basically stand up against this. And, you know, I see it happening a lot online and it really is, it's just horrible. It's it brings to it stuff stuff that I've witnessed in my own life and also seen happening across YouTube and other social media with other people. But then when you actually see this happening to this poor woman who well when I say poor woman, you know, she's 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 taking advantage, not taking advantage, but she has she's not wallowed in self-pity. She has kind of accepted that this is what this is her life, but she's turned it into something so, so positive. And that's what I want to do with me. I mean, I have suffered for so long, but I've got so much knowledge and so much experience on this subject of eating disorders and mental illness, for example. And I want to use that knowledge to kind of reach out to other people and actually help them. Um, And that's exactly what she has done and is doing. It just highlights the actual the evil and the the hatred that's actually in this world that people would actually take the time to make memes like this to go on and bully her to be really hateful towards her send her really hateful messages like and like I say I see that happening a lot on YouTube but the fact that she's not even like come out and made herself she didn't even really like make herself this personality that was talking about controversial topics or anything, right? Because obviously that triggers a lot of hate from people. If you're someone that's quite outspoken or says things, you know, maybe like myself, (laughs) that can trigger a lot of hatred. But the fact that she's getting hatred simply for the way that she looks, right? And the fact that that's... You look at her, she's obviously got an illness and something wrong with her, right? But people are so stupid and just so horrible that they play on that and make fun of it. Not even make fun of it quietly, but openly. And to me, that's just... I hate... I fucking hate bullying, like, actual bullying. I really just... These things just really touch my heart. They really do. Like, this sounds so cliche and so... uh, But... It really just annoys me and people, when people ask who inspires me, I often get that question, who inspires you? It's never someone like a celebrity or a model or it's always people like this, people who have come out against adversity and bullying or whatever and done something, made something of their life despite the haters, despite the trolls, despite the naysayers. These are the kind of people that inspire me. Um, So anyway, guys, I'm sure that however many hundred of you guys out there are watching this, I know that there's so many of you that are very similar to myself and what you believe in people and like you're so kind because the kindness that I receive from you guys and I know that you will all be feeling exactly the same way that I do about Lizzie and so I just wanted to make this video to highlight things and obviously to just address the topic of hating on people about how they look because obviously with anorexia you get a lot of hate about how you look because you might look skinny or whatever and you know, I've received so much hate over the years being called Skeletor. I'm not talking about online, I'm just talking about in general. And people just think it's because I wanted to be skinny and I wanted to starve myself and ha ha ha, let's make fun of her. When actually it is a serious illness. It's a different illness from what Lizzie experiences, but it's still an illness. And when you see someone on the street who is obviously anorexic or who obviously has any like ob- like sometimes it's not obvious that people have illnesses but what I'm talking about people who look differently because of their illness whether that be an eating disorder or otherwise just in your heart just show some love towards them and don't think oh my god that person needs to eat a burger or oh my god that person needs to do this or oh you know actually think about the fact that this person is not well and just kind of send them some kind of 
virtual love thing like you know just try and change your thinking about things that's what I want people to do I want to change people's perspective people's perspective people's ideas people's like just the whole stigma around things like eating disorders mental illness and other illnesses and actually be compassionate show compassion towards our fellow human beings um anyway guys thank you for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you like it a thumbs down if you hate me and i'll talk to you all in the next one